So here's a quick video on position registers. Again, there are, when you record jobs, the robot needs to remember where it's going. And again, as we've seen before, if I click on position, the robot can store things in a based upon a user um, position number with with relevance to the active frame number and the active tool number. So if I hit shift cord and change the user frame to shift and change that to zero, you'll see that all these numbers change because zero is world and these numbers should be relevant. If I change it to something else, it'll be the same thing. It's also telling me the active tool. So if I change the tool, shift cord tool and change that to, oh, I gotta put my, my keyboard shortcuts on. Um, tool one, notice everything changes and the tool changes as well. So now it's, it's a gripper. Um, you need to be wary of these things because again, user, the tool changes, the world numbers change. And if I hit shift cord again, you'll see that these numbers change as well. So if I change this back to two, you see the numbers change uh, because again, it's that tool center point to the middle of the world. But what doesn't change if I, depending on the tool is the joint. Um, if I hit shift cord and change that to, uh, to, to one, Notice the joint numbers do not change. These are absolute values, not not doesn't have to worry about the the tool you're using or not. So, if you want a position that can be utilized no matter what tool you're using, joint is the way to go. If you want something relative with inside the job or something along or that, you know, Cartesian is the way to go. So, we can restore position registers in either location. So how do you do that? The first thing is click on data, and these are data registers, but if you hit type, under the type would be position register. So data, type, F1, position registers, and, and all these are, are things that we can record positions in. So for right now, you jog your robot to your position. And if I wanted to, I can click on enter, and I can put in a name. I would recommend doing names. So I could say home position and hit enter. Okay. Holding shift, uh, dead man shift. I can hit record. And now this position is recorded. But how did it record it? In this case, hit enter or hit uh, position. And you can see that position one is relative to the active frame and the active tool, the tool. That this data is, refer is referenced to that active tool frame and the active user frame that you have, okay? So, um, and we can demonstrate that in a second. Um, but if I want this to be absolute, no matter what, I have to change that, oh, that's a figure, uh, change the representation to joint, okay? Some positions with map, and now that's on the degrees of the current position, okay? And, so, and let's demo, let's play around with this a little bit. I'm gonna just create a simple job. So I hit select, create, and let's do um, keyboard and let's just call this POS register, POS reg, and hit enter. And let's go from there, okay? Yours may not have all this. I just haven't closed that up. So for me to record a position, I hit shift point shift point and here I can change this let me I went faster if you cursor over to your position and hit choice a drop down menu will show up and you'll get a chance to change that to a position register and at that point you can type in the position register you just recorded so you can see that comes home so if I move this and I'm just going to move this down and if I run this job forward notice it move there i'm gonna do shift uh, i'm gonna do shift cord and i'm gonna change the user frame or i'm gonna change the user frame to two and i'm gonna change and do this again i'm gonna move this down hit shift cord forward um and notice it moved right there if i hit shift cord and change the tool okay and let's move this out here like this. If I hit shift core and uh, shift forward on this job, 
Notice it moved it back, okay? Let's show this a different way with um, uh, position registers with in, in, in Cartesian coordinates. So I'm gonna move this here and just uh, for sake of ease, you would jog, but I have the ability to, and let's say that this position right over top here is, is what we want. I'm gonna go to data, I'm gonna go PR2, and I'm gonna call this, um, uh, hole check. Okay. And at this point, I'm going to hit record, but first check, check out your current frame. My current tool frame, my current user frame is two and two. Okay. And I'm going to hit record. Uh, wait, let me X out of that hit record. And now if I go into this, go into position, you'll see that this is some data value, okay, in reference to these things. Just to compare, I'm, if you hit shift and display, you can do a, a double screen. And I'm gonna do position here, and I'm gonna go over here and hit the position number. And notice in world, all that matches. Uh, and user, all that matches. User frame two and, and tool. In world, it's the same, because it's based upon tool two. Okay, so this is, that's what that data value is. I'm gonna go back to my job, hit edit to go back to your job, to your current job. You can't do that, and I'm gonna pull up the data menu, hole check and position. And again, this is in Cartesian. And I'm gonna create a position register, or I'm gonna create a job where it moves the position to position two, okay? So now I'm gonna hit forward. It goes back to the position I was at and forward down. Groovy. I'm gonna forward back. And by the way, I'm in step mode. To get out of step mode, you click the step button. But since step is highlighted, we're gonna step. For, so, and now I'm gonna make my active frame Um, one, I guess I have to keep shutting off keyboards. One, shift chord, and zero, okay? Watch what happens. I'm gonna move this out here just so we see some motion. Forward, limit error, huh? Why would it do that? Because it's referencing all this in here. So let me go back to the job. I'm gonna hit function abort all, which is what you do. I'm gonna hit, whoops, hit reset. It goes back and now it's giving me a limit error because it's trying, because if I compare my current, this is the position it's trying to go right here. Let me show you my current position in world. So if I try, look at this Y minus, look at this, because everything was taught to a user frame, not world. So it's trying to take the Y value behind the robot. Are you, because remember, this is zero. If I move the, or, or, or the X value, you know, the, the Y value is no, left, sorry. Um, so if I try to get this to, to kind of line up, so there's a the negative y value there. Notice the z is there, but the it's the it's the y'all pitch and roll that's funky. Because how could I get so I do my 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 rotation of w. Whoops. This is my rotation of w. What other way? Let's go this way. And it's trying to get to 177 degrees. And it's not letting me because of the way it's changed the configuration. So when you record 
position registers, the, the moral of the story here, you would think, well, I could just move to this position. But how? Do, but what frame did you teach it in? Because if I go back and and move move this robot to that pick position. Whoops! Undo. Um, come on, jog the robot. Move it back. And now this is reference to, to world. If I hit, um, I hit shift record. It's going to re-record. Now if I go back and try to run this job, if I go in here to position, notice that the information changed, the degrees changed, everything changed. So if I hit run my job it goes there just fine I'm gonna go back there I'm gonna change my tool shift cord change my tool and now watch what happens motion limit error again because it doesn't know what to do based upon the current Iteration again, it's saying axis five because it's trying to rotate in axis five too much based upon how we configured the tooling. So when you're recording position registers, you have to ask yourself: are, Do I want joint or do I want whirl? Uh, joint or Cartesian? Joint is absolute everywhere throughout the robot. Best way to record home positions is in joint uh, because it's all about the um, uh, angles of the of the robot uh, uh, joints. But if you start recording in Cartesian. Um, that is good for inside jobs and other things, but remember, it is, it's always going to calculate based upon off the current tool and user frame that you have active. So if you record in one user frame, it may, it may give you some functified stuff if you do it in another user, uh, another frame. Um, you know, so let me go back to shift cord. I'm going to put this back into one shift cord and I'm going to move it to user frame two. and see if it'll let me move it. And it did let me move it, but notice it was not exactly on it because the user frame is different. So the tool was the same, but the user frame was different. So it did was doing just enough. And if I go back into position between world and user, if I toggle, if I toggle between um, the current user frame and change that to zero, you'll see a difference in numbers. And see that there's a difference in numbers. And if I just compare the two, notice that the X is the same, but the Y is different. You know, so there is a difference in numbers based upon, and we're at that position, but the tool caused it to be slightly different because we taught it in a different tool. Um, so be aware as you're doing things. Um, but that's how we're going to do, that's how position registers are recorded. Data, type, position registers, and record. And the other thing to keep in mind is what is this representation, joint or Cartesian? Thanks a lot. Have a good day.